Hey, True Believer Zenglantine Teen here with a review of The Flash. The Flash Wars Part 1. And I'm only saying that because it occurred to me that I completely forgot what number we're on here. So I have to check it out again. That's what I'm doing here while I'm stalling. And here we are again. Let me start again. Hey, True Believer Zenglantine Teen here with a review of The Flash number 47. The Beginning of the Flash Wars. And it's pretty cool, dude, seriously. Okay, you know, we've had a lot of uh, intertitle crossovers in the last year or so. This is one of the ones that just have me excited. It's like when we first saw the button, you know, and, and read that, and it was just completely awesome. And I have to say, I was... Uh, I was looking forward to this. I was looking forward to this when they first announced it, and I'm very happy to say that it is living up to the hype so far. I was not really blown away by the issue that was prior to this. I kind of felt it was all set up. Of course, they wanted you to know who Wally West was and, and such to get you ready for this particular issue. And when it hits... Of course, they're having words and arguments, and I can understand, you know, Wally West is not just a man out of time, a man out of dimension, and so forth and so on, blah, blah, yada, yada. But, wow, he is kind of bratty in this one. <laughs> uh, you got to understand frustration, though. I mean, he would definitely feel it. What got me was, I had no idea what to expect from the Flash Wars, and it did end up su surprising me. Usually, I like it when I don't know what to expect because I can take, uh, you know, I can let the book take me for the ride. I am in it for the emotional haul. You tell me where you want me to go, and I'm going to go with you. And that's that's pretty good when you don't expect, or you don't uh, try to foreshadow. If you don't try to think where it's going, you could be taken on that ride a lot easier. So I was very impressed that it managed to, that while. I had low expect no no expectations not low expectations it still managed to surprise me because one other thing about having no expectations is nothing surprises you you know everything is as it is and as the story tells it so I'm I'm very happy with this uh seeing the renegades from the future you get good guy versions you know I'm going to put air quotes around good guy versions of Captain Cold the glider and so forth and that was always interesting it really gives you a sense of family in this book as well. That Flash, Wally West, Wally West, Iris West, that they're all, you know, family. That they're they're more than just people who are on a comic book page. And that's really important because, you know, you got to worry and wonder about the people who are outside the costumes as well in order for this world to mean something. You know, otherwise, it's kind of like the golden age where it's just superheroes doing superhero deeds for the sake of the reader and not the character. When it is serving the character like this, it just performs that much better. Uh, alrighty, so the renegades show up and they want to arrest Iris West for the murder of Eobon Thrawn in the, the future. And um, Barry Allen said, well, hold on, let's talk about it. And Wally West kind of acts a little, uh, original Wally West, acts a little hot-headed, and he picks up Iris and he runs away, prompting the future renegades to chase after him, and that's where we get the fight scene. That's where the action comes in. Granted, it, it is an all-out action scene, but they do have dialogue. They do have character moments, not just for... Not just for the flashes, but for the uh, for some of the members, not all of them, but for some of the members of the Renegades. Some of the Renegades are in the back just as uh, placeholders because not only do they not say anything, they really just don't do anything during the fight either. And that was a, I, that was a little disappointment because if you're going to set up this team, there has to, you know, I mean, show them working together or fighting together as a team if they are going to be doing anything that's going to be uh, affecting the flashes whatsoever. You know, if they're just a group of people just standing there, it, I don't know. That, maybe that's just me, but I kind of wanted more out of the Renegades to work as a team because that's one thing that's really cool about the Rogues Gallery is that they work well as a team. 
you know, it's one of the things that sets them apart from other criminals and other bad guys in other comic books. And it's what makes the Flash have one of the best, uh, one of the best uh, rogues galleries. Yeah, I know they're called the rogues uh, around in comic books. So yeah, a little bit disappointment, but only a little. Uh, it kind of what you might expect from them traveling into the future, though, is what happens. And I was actually thinking, okay, when's the other shoe gonna drop? You know, are these good guys? Are these bad guys? That's the question uh, as the entire book goes. And yeah, okay, I saw it coming. I'm not going to lie to you. The ending isn't exactly a wower, I guess. It's not going to make you go, whoa, you know, but it, it is entertaining. I want to read the rest of the Flash Wars based on this. And, you know, what, I mean, after that, what, what else can you, every comic book should be a preview and an advertisement for the one that comes after it. And I think this works. I just don't think that the uh, that the what they have is the cliffhanger at the end of this issue works as well as they wanted it to. I still think that they could have done something better with it. Uh, in the end, though, Flash War is off to a great start. It's off to a good beginning. I can recommend it if you have been waiting. If you're kind of iffy about picking this book up, maybe the Flash hasn't been your cup of tea. I can say, hey, you know, now's the time to jump on. It gives you enough background, or maybe the issue before this, for as uh, mundane as it was, if you need any information, pick up the one before this and then hit the Flash Wars. But uh, definitely, I, I think now's a good time to jump on. This is, looks to be exciting, and it gives you enough of what happened before so you can under understand what happens next. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? What did you think? Did you buy the Flash number 47? Are you looking forward to the Flash Wars? What did you think? Did you like this issue? Did you not like it? Or were you kind of in the middle about it? You know, because it could go either way. Those are the three choices, right? Anyway, let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, you know the drill. Click like, share to get word out about the channel. And if you haven't done it already, hit subscribe and that notification bell. Sometimes YouTube might want to notify you about things. Not always, but sometimes they do. Also, this is the way we're trying to make a living. So if you don't mind helping out the channel and helping us to... Uh, get better equipment. That's our goal, to get better equipment and better software to make better videos for you. Uh, so if you don't mind, go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, and uh, help, us, help us out. There are links in the description below. And we would like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.